praise the Lord. Every living soul, praise the Lord. Every everyone, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Every living soul, praise the Lord. From east, from north, from south, from west, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise in the Lord. Praise in the Lord. Always. Praise in the Lord. With my heart and soul. Praise in the Lord with all my heart. Oh. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, my God is good. He's good to me. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. So good to me. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. He's so good to me. Today is the last Sunday in the month of February. Like we just started. January. Amen. Monday is the first day of March. Praise the Lord. Oh, we. Oh, we praise the Lord. Oh, we praise the Lord. With my heart and soul. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Oh, we. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. So good to me. I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise my God. Me, I have a reason to praise the Lord. I have a reason to praise the Lord. Do you have a reason to praise His name? I have a reason to praise my God. I have a reason to praise his name. I have a reason to praise my God. Jehovah Jireh. I have a reason to praise my God. Jehovah Jireh. I have a reason to praise my God. El Shaddai. I have a reason to praise my God. I have a reason to praise Jehovah. I have a reason to praise my God. Me, I have a reason to praise Jehovah. I have a reason to praise my God, Jehovah Jireh. I have a reason to praise the Lord, El Shaddai. I have a reason to praise my God. It's a miracle working God. Hallelujah is a miracle working God. Hallelujah is an Alpha and Omega. Jesus, you are a miracle working God. I have a miracle working God. Hallelujah, you are a miracle working God. Hallelujah is an Alpha and Omega. Jesus share a miracle working God. Hallelujah, you are a miracle working God. Hallelujah, you are a miracle working God. Hallelujah, you are Alpha and Omega. Jesus a miracle working God. Praise the Lord, every living soul. Somebody praise the Lord. It doesn't matter where you're coming in or where you're being from. In the whole seven continents of the world. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us lift our glance of mine. 
praise the Lord for he is kind for his mercy shall end you ever faithful ever sure ever faithful ever sure i say let us we take glass of mind praise the lord for he is kind for his masses and you ever faithful ever sure ever faithful ever sure let us bless his name abroad for of God he is God. Hmm, hallelujah. For his mercy shall endure, ever faithful, ever sure, ever faithful, ever sure. I said, let us wait a glance of heart. Praise the Lord for he is good. For his masses endure forever. His masses endure forever. Ever faithful, ever sure. All things living does he feed. Yes, he's a provider. His full hand supplies their need. For his masses shall endure. Ever faithful, ever sure. Ever faithful, ever true. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are worthy to be praised. My Jehovah, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. I say you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord, invisible God. My miracle worker, you are worthy, O Lord. You are what it all Lord. You are what it all Lord. Invisible God, my miracle worker. You are what it all Lord. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father Lord, we bless you. We worship you this morning. We started Lenten season like never before. Oh Lord, all we will do in you, through you, and we're asking your mercy to mount it with your grace. And for that blood on Calvary that you're going to shed, oh Lord, to be a redemption to our soul, body, and spirit, so that everything in us will rise up and praise you and you only. In the name of Jesus, every crooked ways, let them be straightened in the name of Jesus. Every powerless power of this world, let them be straightened in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, do something new in our lives in the name of Jesus. I want to bless you because without you, we're nothing. Oh Lord, arrest every soul that are monitoring our footsteps with the purpose to kill, to steal, and destroy. <laughs> oh Lord, set our heart on fire for you. Let everything in you, in us, be from you. Deposit your mighty strength, your power on yielding, and your favor that will never fail. Deposit it into our life and let everything else be able to praise you over and over. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. It's an Alpha and Omega. 
It's a miracle walking God. When I remember what my God has done, I will never <coughs> go back anymore. No, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. <coughs> when I remember what the Lord does to I will never go back anymore. I say no, 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 no. I will never go back anymore. <clears throat> Redeemer, Redeemer again, Savior, come and shelter me from sin. You familiar with my weakness, devoted to the end, be my Savior friend. Redeemer, 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 Savior friend. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, Amen. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, be thou exalted, Emmanuel. I say you are worthy, oh Lord. You are worthy, oh Lord, invisible God. You are my miracle worker. You are worthy, oh Lord, invisible God. My miracle worker. You are worthy, oh, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Messiah. Thank you, King of King and Lord of Lords. We bless you. We honor you. We glorify you because you alone, you are God. Be in our midst right now. And as we go into your word, teach us all things. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now come with me to the book of John, chapter 1. John, chapter 1. He has promised he will never be. I will follow him. I will follow him. My God has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. God faithfulness is forevermore. Amen. It was not that light. I'm starting from verse 8. John chapter 1. Because God is God, it's not a man. Amen. He was not that light. We're talking about Jesus Christ now. The reason of this season for redemption of your soul and the redemption of my soul. He was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. Because God is God. God is no man. He is God, he is no man. God is God, he is no man, he will do it again. Let me tell you, there is Trinity. It's God the Father, the Son, he came in our in, in human form because of our ways. Maybe we can have redemption. And it's Holy Spirit that he created the breath of life in us. He is saying, Jesus came in the likeness of man. Amen. And Pa was sent to bear witness of that light in human form, to come bear the witness. Maybe we can change our ways. That was the true light. 
which lighted every man that come into the world. If not the light of God, our ways will be filled with darkness. When your way is filled with darkness, it will be slippery. There is nothing somebody can do and they can prosper. Therefore, we need light, light. And what, why today? 10, that's where we're going. He was in the world, listen up. And the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. What is the reason for this season? Is it not for the redemption of my soul, your soul? If, if you are in, don't hide, just join me. Write something, take something, acknowledge what I'm saying. John 1, 10. He came as the light into our darkness, our crooked ways, our, 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 our spiritual wickedness of men. That we know the truth, we cannot speak it. He came to set us free in the name of Jesus. Amen. When he came, did we acknowledge him? No, we did not know him. And that is the reason of this season, the reason of crucifixion. He came to redeem me, to redeem you. Because that blood is shed on cover. Or will be shed on that Good Friday. Why is it Good Friday, by the way? The nailing people on the cross, they nailing him on the cross, and they calling him Good Friday. Is it a Good Friday? It's a Good Friday before God our Creator because He wanted us to be redeemed by Him. And He laid down His life for His friends. Amen. Welcome, my sister. God bless you, Ma. Amen. 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 He came. Did we acknowledge him? Well, knew him not. Your Redeemer? Can you, <laughs> ordinary Whitlow in one finger. Can you stand the pain? Could you imagine being nailed to the cross? Wrist, wrist. We're not talking about the palm. We're talking about the tendon in the wrist being broken by the big gigantic nail. And do we recognize him? Oh, people were saying he was so rude. <laughs> he didn't bow for authority. If he was rude, he was rude. So that he, the punishment he will, he, will, he, he will carry, he will be the one to deliver you and me when we are being rude and we're not working in the right way. Came in the form of men and so that it can be translated in the form of men and then redeem us. He came. Maybe we can change as a friend. One of the Trinity, God the Father, Himself to the Son, to the Holy Spirit of God. Did we acknowledge Him? Have you acknowledged Him this morning, even today only? Have you said a word of prayer? Did you say a word of prayer this morning? How did you say it? Were you busy <laughs> cursing people who offended you? Hey, the Lord has taught us to stop cursing, including me. Because, you know, people will so offend you that what will proceed from your mouth is like you want to crucify them. Ha, ah, let go, let God. He has spoken. <laughs> there will be a moment in your life as he has spoken in Exodus 14.13. The agents, the trouble you see today. People torturing you for no reason. You see them today, you will not see them no more tomorrow. He is going on Calvary to redeem us, to deliver us from this wicked world. Hallelujah. They knew him not. They thought he was a, he came on his own. So who asked him to come and redeem? Really? Can you redeem yourself? Can you bear a little pain? Okay, now, since you didn't acknowledge the Savior, who came as a light to brighten our darkness, to help us when we, when we are missing the road and is holding us, directing our path, leading us along, how come? It, it says in the Proverb 3, 6, 
Once you acknowledge him, he will be ready to direct you for life. Not because uh, it's the one thing. You get a stamp in your life. He's ever ready. It's us that we need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling, acknowledging God. Acknowledge him and his presence in your life. Come with me to the book of Job. If there is no, no fire, there won't be no smoke. If this world didn't break, they refused to acknowledge obedience from the beginning, we will be having paradise. God will keep multiplying his generation by himself. We will have to help him. Mm -hmm. After all, he created heaven and earth by himself. Did he need you to be God? <laughs> he did not need us to be God. That's why God is God. And God is no man. God is God. He is no man. God is God. God is no man. He will do it again. He will keep producing, creating, reshaping, reforming the whole universe. Let God be God. And you, me, let us be daughters and sons of Zion. I have no, no power of my own. I have no, no power of my own. Almighty Jesus, come and help me. For I have, I have no power of my own. I have no, no healing of my own. I have no, no healing of my own. Almighty Savior, come and help me, for I have, I have no healing of my own. Amen. Job 19. Hmm. We did not acknowledge him. Why? We fail to acknowledge our creator, our maker, and hey, what is going on in the world. Why? Look at our world because we fail to acknowledge him and we fail to let him direct our path. Some people may think, oh my God, with all your degrees, you must be crazy. Oh man, all the time she's saying she's a pastor, she's da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ah, let God direct your path. You will never lose any grace. You will never miss anything in life. You will never be wanting anything. He will be your provider. He has spoken in Psalm 34, 10. When the young lion are begging and they are thirsty, those who love the Lord, hey, those who acknowledge the Lord, they will never, they will never, they will never lack anything good because it is a provider. Jehovah Jireh. Job 19. And we're going to chapter nine. Let's start from seven. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I'm not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no judgment. He will judge when you are in tune with your God. When you acknowledge his presence, it will help you judge. Eight, he, he had first of my way. Hallelujah. That I cannot pass. You know, every obstacle, those who say the Lord is not for you, those who say who can deliver you, they destroy you, that marriage you're not going to hold. Oh my God. Those who have stolen your destiny, your testimony, huh? they face all of their ways that I cannot pass. My ways, they, you can face my way. May the fire of God, marry. may he set them ablaze in the name of Jesus. The God of Elijah who answered by fire. May he hear me this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. The face of my way that I cannot pass and had said that me, ah, there will not be no power that will set darkness in my path because I have acknowledged God. He is the light and the ultimate. Amen. And nine. 
He has stripped me of my glory. No power can slip me of my glory in the name of Jesus. Once I acknowledge him, he is God. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He is risen from the dead. He is God. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is God. It will be God. Once it's risen in your life, it is God. There is no power that can strip you of his glory. And take the crown from your head. Amen. I put eight. It should be, I mean, nine. It should be Job 19, eight. I will correct that. That's where we're going. Nine. Okay. Or I just put eight. It's the same thing. I just read it. Anyway, God is light. No power can be against you. If God is for you, who can be against you? It's not been given to powers. Because it is God. We're not talking about many gods. It is the ultimate and superior and supreme God. Amen. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. We hallelujah. Amen. As many as are watching this morning, may the Lord be shed light into your darkness in the name of Jesus. Woman of man is Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know your story. He is reading you this morning. Woman of man is Jesus. Hallelujah. He made a lame to walk. Hallelujah. He made the blind to see. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. A -a Amen. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What part of my mm, is Jesus? Hallelujah. I say what manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah. He made a limb to walk, hallelujah. And he made a blind to see, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. I say hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Come with me to the book of Jeremiah 9. Jesus, we are here. Father, we are here. Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you, Almighty God. We are here, sweet Jesus. We are here, Lord Jesus. You are here. We are here for you, Father. We're here for you. Hear us this morning in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah nine, and I start from verse. I start from two. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place. <laughs> of warfaring men that I might leave my people and go from them for they be adulterous an assembly of treacherous men when it says men women who well, men it means women bend and they bend their tongue <laughs> like like what? They bend their tongue like their bow for lies. If you are a Christian and you are not persecuted, you are not yet a Christian. <laughs> or maybe you are a baby Christian. You need to go through fire to be delivered. That translation. They bend their tongues. Hallelujah for lies. One thing with men. 
when we're lying, won't we know we're lying? <laughs> Don't be deceived. God is not a man. Don't be deceived. What he says he will do, he will do it. Not like us. They bend their tongue for lies. Look at this. We have a redeemer. We fail to acknowledge him. And then when the enemies are all over us, and we think, oh my God, but they said there is God somewhere. How come that? Because that's your test of faith. How will you handle it? The Redeemer came as a light into a darkness. We did not receive him. His own Christians. Even those who are not Christians and they still call on the name of God. Amen. We're all his own. Religion may not be attached in this wise. It's how you come to Christ that matters. It's how you receive him. It's knocking. It's knocking into our heart this morning. You want to come in. Darkness cannot comprehend him. It will fail. Amen. And what happened? And not only that, they come, they're disturbing you, they're facing, they don't want you to reach your, 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 your destination as destined for you from above. They're just there to trouble you. Huh. They strip you of your grace and glory. They pocket it in, they sell it. In. They say, without them, you are nothing. The day of the Lord. Hey, hey, the day of the Lord. You will remember me today. How you've done the power the Lord gave you. Well, wherever you got your power, those you have robbed of their destiny, you've robbed of their victory, you've robbed of their moving forward, the one you have borrowed their glory, and you're shining with something that doesn't belong to you. The Lord will take it back from you this morning, and the Lord will replace it with a better glory that no man has ever used before. In the name of Jesus, those people you robbed, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Be ready. The Lord is here. The light is here. You better seek that light so it can translate your darkness. Amen. So your ways will not be slippery no more. In the name of Jesus. You know, Sabbath is looking for accomplices. Why would they go in, in, in the temple when the children of God, they gathered in the book of Joshua chapter 1? Eh? He came there and the Lord questioned him. He said, he says, Satan, Mr. Satan, wait, wait a minute. What are you doing in the congregation of my children who gather to serve me? Where are you coming from, by the way? I'm doing the entire length of the world to and fro a jobless job, a job without pay. The Lord gave Satan a job without pay. He came. Did you think he came? Did you think he came for a good for good things? This is what it is. Like in our homes, in our marriages, in our jobs, in every part of us, Satan is there. And who's this Satan? Huh? Is is a man, a woman like you, like me, that fail to acknowledge the presence of God in their lives, but they are bent on doing evil. Hey, hear me this morning. Serve God with fear and trembling. You, you, you look at this. Jeremiah 9.3. You bend your tongue hmm, like a bow and you lie in like hellfire. fire. going to catch up with you. Why don't we change our ways from this morning? You lie on people. You just, you just want to obstruct the progress of others. Like he's spoken in, in the book of Job 19.8. I'm going to change that. I told you before. You wore your power against them. You're using their testimony. You borrow their glory. <laughs> you oppress them. Some, you let them be blind. Some, you let them be crippled. Some, uh, some, 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 examine yourself. Who are you in the Lord this morning? Me, Jesus, in my family, you can't do me no nothing. Amen. The truth is bitter. 
I have to change my ways. It says in the book of John 15, 5, he said, it is divine. It is divine. We are all the branches. But provided you are serving God, you are a branch. And we all come together to do the same work. But in a different way, he has ordained us. He may give you a testimony to share with people. The way he gives it to me is different. The way he'll give it to another one is different. But we're going to arrive or come together under the, the vine. And he said, they bow, they, 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 they bow their tongues like a bow. They bend it like a bow for lies. You're lying. You know you're lying. You can't face the truth and let the truth set you free. And upon the earth, what did they do? They think they are valiant, but they're not. They are not valiant. They don't have victory. They don't have respect for the truth. They proceed. Hey, they proceed from evil to evil, not, not knowing God. If you fail to acknowledge God this morning, I cannot force you, but you had me on that faithful day and they rewind this day. Don't think I'm crazy because they told me I was in Europe for a revival. The woman that the Lord said I should empty my purse and give everything to her. She called me crazy. She said, what am I doing with this? And I gave her my money. It's not that I'm taking money from her. <laughs> oh my God. She said, you are crazy. With all your degrees, what are you doing with evangelism? God said I should go there, empty my pocket, and do, even if it's one or two, that gather, do my whatever, and forget about it. Here you go. If they bow their tongues against you, what, should, what do you think I should have done to the woman? Cuss her out? No, 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 no. <laughs> I said, what did you say? I repeated. He said, no, I didn't say that. I said, that's okay. That degree cannot fetch me salvation. You can have PhD in anything. <laughs> you can have MD combined. Hey, it cannot fetch you salvation. Do you know what will fetch you salvation? Searching for God. Setting your heart on fire. Be ready. Go Lord, where are you going to be? What fearing and what fearing men with you to serve God? They do not acknowledge God. They don't know God. And finally, come with me. Don't be like these people. I'm, I'm not a Pharisee. I, well, what is it? Whatever they call them in the Bible. Listen, as I'm preaching to you, I'm seeking for my salvation. It's not easy. Let's work it out with fear of God, respect for the things of God. Respect for men you see every day to respect God. You cannot see. Stop tarnishing. Stop out of jealousy, heresy, whatever it is, destroying the work of God. Amen. Amen. Stop. Stop from today. Examine your soul. Examine yourself. It has so much time for us to change. It's a God of chances. Who can deliver you? Whatever power we have, it doesn't matter. Whatever we own, it's not even ours. The day of the Lord, that power cannot cannot set you free. It cannot be a help to you. It cannot deliver you from the wrath of God, from the judgment, true judgment. We can come back and fix it. Let's change today. Amen. Stop robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know you're lying. You keep doing it. You persist in evil work. You have evil agenda. You lie like hellfire. You separate brethren. You're a caricature. 
the Bible call it. You go inside where you feel, oh my God, there is love, there is kindness, there is mercy, there is unity, oneness. Hey, they see you, they say, oh my God, Tribune is coming. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, Boston Globe is here. Hallelujah. Let us change our ways. Because... <laughs> Jehovah reigns, he reigns, he reigns. My Savior, you reign. Open Second Corinthians 10, 5. My Father, you reign, you reign, you reign. Almighty, you reign, you reign, you reign. Be lifted up above the dark. Ah, be lifted up above the God. You are, you are, you are, you are lifted up above the God. Be lifted up above the God. Amen. John 1 10, remember what it says. Acknowledge God. Job 99. Don't do evil. Refrain from evil from today. And Jeremiah 9.3, stop lying. There is no little lie that is not a sin. Amen. Be valiant for the truth. And desist from doing the work of evil. Amen. Second Corinthians 10.5, it's not going to be our portion. Listen, Second Corinthians 10. What did he say? And he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and we're going to verse 5. Let's start from 3. For though we walk in the flesh, these are all walking in the flesh, all these behaviors. Not acknowledging your God is a work of flesh. We do not walk after the flesh. But listen, for weapons of our warfare are not carnal. If God is for you, your weapon will no longer be of the flesh you dwell in, but it will be of God. It will be mighty. Through God, to pull down strongholds, the spirit of lying is a stronghold. Yes, so when you fail to acknowledge your, cre your creator is a stronghold, when you can't face the truth, all you like is lie, 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 work of evil. Oh, yes, you know who you're doing it. There is no one doing evil that will not know this is evil. Even if you are not a Christian. Hmm. And finally, five, casting down imagination. From today, marriage. God will cast down every, every, every imagination. Every, every powers, every one of them. He will bring them down to submission and obedience. Every power, every tongue, every behavior that they exalt themselves against the knowledge of God, the knowledge of truth. Be careful. Don't let God deal with you. I have opportunity today to change my ways. We all have opportunity to change our ways. We all have opportunity to be redeemed. I surrender all. Hallelujah. Huh? Because God will bring down to submission. Just like you tongue you, hey, by force, by fire. Every power of darkness, evil work, evil agenda. How many people you've taken tears from them? God will bring those to submission, your power, your evil agenda. If you exalt yourself about the creation of God, about the work of God, it will bring you down to submission, whether you like it or not. Hear me right this morning. He will. He's the God of chances. He may be watching, giving you chances. He gained chances, and that doesn't mean we should persist in evil works. Any power, 
Huh. Any imagination that will exalt itself above the things of God, about the knowledge of God, through Christ Jesus, he will bring you down to submission. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. We're going into prayers. <laughs> At the mention of his name, every tongue confess that you are God, you are God. You are God of God, that you are King, Father. You are King of Kings. A dimension of your name, mention of your name, every knee shall bow. I say, a dimension of his name, every tongue confess. Begin to thank God this morning. Begin to pray. Begin to honor God. Tell him, Father, we're here again. I want to acknowledge you, Father. Be my helper. Shine in the days of darkness. Shine. Shine. Oh, Lord. You are what you don't know. Begin to pray. Thank God. I thank you this morning, Father, because you are the light. You came for a reason. You share your blood for a reason. Let it be a redemption for me and my household and my generations to come. My foundation that is rocking, huh? that is not of yours. Oh Lord, remove and reconstruct, reshape me and my household. I thank you for everything, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go in the book of Job 19, 8. Okay? If you pray with 9 too, it's also well and good. They face, their way, they face their own way, not my way and my children, my generations to come. That I could not pass. So every obstacle, tell it to God this morning. That say you will not reach your destination as the Lord has ordained and destined for your life. May the Lord bring them down. Every imagination that are exalting themselves higher than your creator, may the Lord bring them to submission this morning in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, but that means you have to serve God with a pure heart for him to hear you. We can multiply in sin and ask God's blessings to multiply. It cannot happen. We can rub it away to people and think God will bless your, the work of your hand. It will not. It's not a God that will do evil. It's a God of light. It's a God of testimony. It's a God who loves the truth and that truth to set us free. Begin to pray. Tell it to God. Send me, Father. Let me do truth from today so that people, oh Lord, when they come, they want to check me out. They come like a flood upon my sober dance spirit. You raise your standard. And the standard of God is the standard of the truth. For that truth to send me and my household free in the name of Jesus. They bend their tongue like bow for lies. When they speak tongues, of lies against me, and they want to walk it up and stir people up against me. And my household, Father, let your truth set me free. Hmm. When they do work of evil against me and my household, let your truth set me and my household free. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And not just me. I pray for the four corners of the, of the world, all nations of the world, the, the continent of Asia, Africa. Australia, Authentica, Europe, North and South of America. Oh Lord, set us free. Let your truth, your light shine in every corner of the world. And let people come and put their trust in you. And let us change from our wicked ways in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, help us to do better and better with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember Jeremiah 9 and verse 3. Father, he came, pray for that, for you to stop. When you're lying, you know it. To start to tell the truth, for the truth to set you free in your household. For the truth to set you free from evil works of men. For you to desist even from evil to evil. For you to lay your life unto God as your ordained and purpose. For our way is not to be darkened and be slippery before him. Hey! 
Father, help us. We surrender this morning, help us. Do not allow me, Papa, do not allow me. Do not allow me, Papa, to go empty handed. Do not allow me. Do not allow me. Do not allow me, Papa, to go empty handed. Never allow me. Never allow me. Never allow me, Papa, to go empty handed. I will rejoice. In whom I be glad, and I will exalt the name of the Lord. Come, let us rejoice together. I will rejoice in whom I be glad. It is Jesus that's in my life. It is Jesus that's in my soul. It is Jesus that's in my Lord. I say, Jesus, the Son of God. Now begin to pray. Second Corinthians 10 5. Ask God every power that are tormenting you because you have you promised never to do evil. You promise never to go wayward no more. You promise never to lie no more. That every power from today, hey, every power, every imagination that want to exalt themselves over your life, may the Lord bring them down to submission by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus. Ah, those power who say you will beg for food, when the children of God will never beg for food. Those power who say you will never get married and they're obstructing. Hey, they're blocking your blessings. They they get they strip you of just blessings. They're hitting it. They block them. May the Lord let them lose grip of your testimony. Oh, may the Lord God of Israel let them come to submission by force by fire. May the Lord deal with them. That is the meaning. In the name of Jesus. It's no cause. May God, every power, imagination. That highly exalt themselves about the name of the Lord in your life, above your creator. From today, may the Lord bring them to submission through Christ Jesus. Ah, they exalt themselves about the, the, the above the knowledge of God. Above the work of God. They created themselves, recreated themselves, they, they call themselves many gods of this world, and they recreate in heaven and earth. God says He will bring them down to submission by force, by fire, through Christ Jesus. Because that blood, it will never lose the strength. Their blood, it doesn't stain. Begin to pray for redemption. That water, he will translate you. That water, it will purify you from his ribs. It's not a mistake. I will rejoice in whom I be glad. I will exalt the name of the Lord. Come, let us rejoice together. I will rejoice in whom I be glad. I say it is Jesus that's in my life. It is Jesus that's in my home. It is Jesus that's in my soul. Jesus, the Son of God. Father, as we surrender to you today, Bring every torment of our soul, body, and spirit. Bring them down and let them submit to you, Father. Let them acknowledge that you have set us free indeed from today. It says in the book of Galatians 6, 17, For now, unto the King of kings, the Lord of lords. He says, for above the blood, the mark of salvation upon my soul, body, and spirit, and my household, from today, let no power exalt themselves above the knowledge of God in my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you boast of your God this morning? Can you boast of your God this morning? Can you say the same thing? Because you are a new creature from today. So far, you have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back.
Father, teach us all your ways. Let us refrain from lying, from disobedience, from evil works, eh, from blaming. Oh, yeah, I did that and I did this. Oh, my goodness. From pointing fingers, led jointly all the universe. There is room at the cavern. The whole wall, the cavern will contain everyone. There will still be room. Come and test of the Lord and know that is God. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we have prayed this morning. With thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, my viewers from, from all over the world. From the continent of Africa, Asia, Australia, Authentical Europe, North and South America. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, my fathers in the Lord, my bishops, my Pope, whoever you are. Even if you are not a Christian, but you listen, may this be a light unto your path from today in the name of Jesus. May you turn to the real God, the maker. I am not God. Mm -mm. No man can be God. I mean the supreme. Even the kings of this world, listen, they do obey God. They sin in as the most high. Join me next Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in America, Central People 10. If you're coming from mountain area, join me at nine. From the West Coast, Pacific Time, Join me at 8 a.m. In Africa, West Africa, at 6, join me at 5. If you're coming from, uh, 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 what is it called? No, join me. Yeah, join me at 5. If you're coming from, uh, what is it called again? You're coming from East Africa, at 7, join me at 6. Actually, for um, it depends on where you're calling in from. If you join me, joining me, East Coast, you coming from West Africa, just at five, and coming at four. East Africa coming at six. There's a time zone difference of two hours between those, between East and West Africa. If you coming from India, you coming from East, from Australia, you coming from Asia, join me. Plus eleven, eleven hours. And just use it as your time to come and bless the Lord with me. May the Lord hear and answer us and do something new in our lives in the name of Jesus. Next Sunday is here. Continue to fast and pray. The devil is roaring. He's looking for who to kill to steal and devour. You will not have to in our lives in the name of Jesus. Sadaga, the God of light. Darling Jesus, darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are a powerful God. I love you so, so, so much. Darling Jesus, oh my darling Jesus, you are a wonderful God. Amen. Join me for Watch Party. Join me on YouTube. Devote today to the things of God. Be blessed. Bye now.